Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is already unrealistic because that brother would have ran. Yep. He, you would have seen it. He would have he jumped out that window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, his shape would have been in that wall back then. Like a Looney Tune. Yeah. For the last couple of days, I've just been getting on my, my phone, my computer. Something will come up. You know, I get a little notification about the news every now and then, especially entertainment news. And I've just been hearing from so many people say how Netflix is doing a wonderful job, man, at bringing all these great shows, all these video game adaptations, all these movies that they make. But this time, Netflix, you dumb f***ed up. Don't ever peep your head out the window <laughs> in a horror movie. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you doing? And gripping Girl. the side of the car window with, with the, the broken glass. Yeah. Like, oh. Are you at your damn mind? Don't you ever do that. That's why you get labeled deserve to die. Hi! Hello! <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulips with me. People, oh, hello. <laughs> People, this is looking like a muppet out there. Yeah, it does. Oh, God, it does. People, this is the Netflix direct sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre called. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is already unrealistic because that brother would have ran. Yep. He, you would have seen it. He would have he jumped out that window. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, his shape would have been in that wall back like then. Like a Looney Le- Tune. Yeah. Yeah. Le- Leatherface would have been like, wow, I. Maybe he wasn't ever here. <laughs> he took off so fast. <laughs> now, he would, Leatherface would have been like, I'm not racist, but damn, they can run. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a direct sequel to, I believe, the 1974 mm-hmm. Texas Chainsaw exactly. Massacre. They called yes. it a requel. Y- y- yes. And Wait, uh, what? It's a requel. So it's a sequel, but it's a reboot at the same time because they already had sequels to the original film. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they, they're doing what Halloween did. Yes. What... Uh, there was another movie that did this. Candyman. 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 Yeah, they're going in and just kind of retconning this whole thing because they're getting rid of everything in the middle and saying, no, nah, we're starting fresh because unlike those other assholes, we know what we're doing. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for the next recall. Yes. <laughs> oh, sure. Yes. That, that's adorable. God bless you. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Okay. People, I'm talking about this because... Everybody's talking about it's bullshit, and I'm here to tell you it's bullshit, too. But I'm here to tell you why old Corey thinks it's bullshit, because I'm qualified to tell you why. And I'll give you that reason why in a little bit. But first, let me tell you, because you want to know, because y'all out there right now, I ain't watching this shit. So tell me, what, 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 how are they, how are they, what are they requilling this? Yes. How are you requilling this? So this does take place in the current time, 2022. Or I'll even let them go back to 2021. But here... You have the have this uh, uh, this group of, of hipsters who are returning to the town of Harlow. Harlow is where the horrors of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre happened back in 1974. Except now, Harlow, we haven't had any other crimes of that such going on. The family that committed that crime, surely the, the, those crimes, surely they're gone right now. Hipsters, these young millennials come in and they say, you know what? What we're going to do is this town that seems to be abandoned right here. No one's here, this is a perfect place to buy this land up for cheap. Forget the food carts, you know, they're foodies people. They come in and say, no, we're gonna create a new town square right here for us. People like, cool, hip people like we are. And maybe we'll a go- A Gen Z paradise. A Gen <laughs> Z paradise. <laughs> Living in a Gen Z paradise. <laughs> but all, but all the history, while you might have not heard of it for a long time, it's never gone. Especially when you're a bunch of fuck up hipsters like these people. They come in, they accidentally remove this 
poor old woman from her home. She was running an orphanage, and she has no clue that the bank told them that the place was sold and she had to be out. She still has the deed. She just had the deed recertified not too long ago. But they're saying, you know what, but yeah, that's cool, but you know, we bought all this stuff up, and plus you're old. One dude's like, you're white. <laughs> you know, you don't need to be around here. So I don't know where you're going to go, but you can't stay here. It hurts that woman to the quick so hard that she just up and dies. Oh, but little did they know that this woman was, she was taking care of a fella you might know. Or is it the same one? I don't know. Leatherface. And Leatherface, that was the only friend that he had. When that woman passes away because of the shock of being removed from the only home that she knew all these years, that's when Leatherface says something that all of us say at one point or another. These hipsters got to die. <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> well, yeah. well, sadly, the, the movie makes you feel that way long before Leatherface even shows oh, up. Oh, Very yeah. True. People, yeah, we're going to get into that. But let me tell you something, man. Let, let, let me... I'm going to tell you why I want to tell you about this because, uh, you know, I'll get into that in a little bit. But I will say this. Let, let's let's start talking about this movie, uh, 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 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Before we start actually talking about that movie, before we review that uh, movie, let's talk about another movie right here that is kind of similar in a way. Of course, people, you recognize the mask. That is Michael Myers, and you recognize that trailer. That's Halloween Kills. Why am I bringing up Halloween Kills before I start talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Well, because I don't like this movie. If I didn't give that movie some more bullshit when I reviewed it, I damn sure got to give it that now because I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre more than I like Halloween Kills. And I think Halloween, and I think, uh, uh, and as I told you, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre is some pure bullshit. Both of them are bullshit to me right now. And that's why I said earlier, I said, I'm going to say something that's going to piss people off. It's going to be controversial. I was just going to be, you know, and it's going to have people look at me like, what the f are you talking about? I can explain to you exactly why I hate uh, this movie probably more than I dislike uh, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, I could agree with that. I had Halloween Kills on my worst of 2021 movies. When I saw that, I was like, damn, I feel bad because it at least, least should have been in my disappointments. Because mm -hmm. that was one of the most disappointing movies of 2021. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That movie's, man, that movie's so ridiculously stupid. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, both of them are. They, and they, they, <clears throat> they break that, that, that cardinal rule of having characters do things that... <laughs> that uh, are, are in their best interests or shows they have a sense of self-preservation. Halloween Kills, first of all, is the sequel to a successful, successfully done uh, reboot Requel. itself. Requel, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, the the, the uh, Halloween, Halloween 2018. Y'all are still, some of y'all are still trying to hold on to like, well, no, there's something to salvage here. No, there's, there's something cool. No, it's, some of y'all just don't want to admit that this movie's pretty horrible. Yeah. Halloween Kills. I'm sorry. The more I think about it, and after looking at Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I said, you know what? I don't like this movie, but it damn sure is doing this better than Halloween Kills did. And I'll tell you, because you're like, what the f*** are you talking about? Well, what did they do better? I'll get into that when I get into the review. I can only think of one thing they did better, but you go ahead. No, I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. But I also want to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre to you because, y'all, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Is that right? It it is. I I have it uh, on video cassette. I got it on DVD somewhere. Uh, I've watched it a few times, man. I don't, I don't watch a whole lot of horror movies uh, oh, oh, over and over and over again because they're pretty dark, you know. Yeah, and I, yeah. I don't want to ruin my day by seeing people getting sliced up all day. But man, something about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I could watch that movie all day, man. I love that film. The most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. That's John Larroquette, by the way, who comes back to narrate a little bit in this one. John Larroquette? Yeah. Oh, that didn't sound like him at all. Nah, it's him, though. And he comes back to narr narrate a little bit in this one. Uh, but, man, that movie, the reason why I love that movie so much is because, man, that movie is just, it just feels so natural. So when people are losing their shit, people are, you know, screaming and panicked and look mm. scared. It looks 100% real, man. And some of it actually is genuine by the end of the movie. This movie has one of the best endings for any horror movie out there. Man, I can't run 
faster than that. That's a a real Negro move right there. He said, fuck it, I'm just going to chunk this shit to And and his big ass kept running. And he got away. Okay, good. Yeah, Yeah. shit, that's a a real Negro move right there. Yeah, right. And, and, uh, (laughs) yeah. And, you know, it's man, it feels real because that dude got away because he kept running. That shit, he ran so fast, she had to catch another ride. (laughs) Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it ends with him uh, out in the road just dancing. They drove that yep. girl so crazy mm. that that's a little bit of that is real, man. They drove that they just they just like just punished her so much on the set and just had her screaming and running from this maniac and covered in all this you know, this fake blood and everything that she just lost her shit at the end of this movie, oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Some of the, I'm not saying she's like actually insane, but she's just like had enough at this point. Yeah, Probably yeah. exhausted. Too. Yeah. She's really kind of she's kinda out of it, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's Marilyn Burns who comes back in this movie that, that she's the character uh, Hall, uh Sally Hardesty. Well this is not the same actress. No, I know, I know. Oh, okay. No, okay. that's why I'm saying the character comes oh, gotcha, back. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. No, then she's dead. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sure. Uh, Marilyn Burns is dead, mm-hmm. but the, but the character returns. Yeah, uh, it's just it's just Leatherface at the end. The movie is so feral and and insane that Leatherface is just out in the middle of the street, just twirling around with a with with, with the chainsaw. Yeah, like he's got a sign for a mattress shop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, he's going crazy, man. And then it just kind of feeds into the brutality of the film, which is funny because I'm going to tell you a fact about this movie that a lot of people forget all the time, man. But uh, that's why when I see this this requel or, you know, sequel, whatever it is, uh, when I see that, I'm just kind of like, yeah, man, y'all just, y'all are missing the point of doing this. Y'all are, you, you really don't understand this film. So I'm a little biased when I come into this, man. I think it's a bad movie anyway. This it uh this it, it shouldn't be a bad thing that, that that to be this basic man. The the first movie, the first movie was actually a very basic film, man. That that first film, they don't really explain a whole lot because there's not a whole lot to explain. That first film, you just got a, uh, about uh, four or five kids rolling into this small town. They run into this home of crazy cannibals, and you know, and they don't explain Leatherface. They don't explain why these people are like they are. Uh, even and Plus, they pitch it as a true story. In a way, it is. It's based on this guy, Ed Gaines, who's also the inspiration for, uh, uh, what's his name from us? Uh, Psycho, uh, Norman Bates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Ed Gaines is somebody Gein. who... Yeah, Ed Gein, I'm sorry. Ed Gein is a player. He made... He, he did a lot of grave robbing and dug up bones and stuff and killed people, made lampshades out of them and things like that. He was a crazy guy, but this is not the true story right here. But a lot of people took it as a true story mm-hmm. sure. based on that. Effective marketing. That's it what that's was. called. But, you know, that's the kind of basicness that we're talking about. Just rare, you know, just right, right down to just like some just like real raw, no frills, no whole lot of detail storytelling. Let's just get If you don't know, you don't need to know. <laughs> you, you know, don't worry about it. Just run. <laughs> when you when you have more story in something like this, it almost like makes it uh, uh, dumber. Yeah, <laughs> you're over, trying to overexplain. Yeah, 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 it mm-hmm. makes it fall apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know this. The here it, it's it's just that they want to do this for gore, man. This is all yeah. just for gore. Yeah. It's so into the gore that they set up these characters so that the, you want to see them die, and that always yeah. takes away the suspense, man. You know. The, so these hipsters in this in this movie right here, you want them to die, man. And yeah. when you want them to die, then what, you know why am I? What am I? What do I have, what do I have to root for other than Leatherface? Yeah, it's it's enough with so many of the cheap and bad horror movies that they make the people do stupid things yeah. that make you go, well, then you deserve it. Well, that's what you get. Uh-huh. But they make you these people unlikable right off the bat, From the get go. Yeah, man, they, they, boy, and. Well, I, I just want to—I just want to say um, that, like, with 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 them, I like you. It's funny you've heard them in history. To, to me, I just refer to them as the meat. It's like well, that's black oh. meat, that's brown meat, that's white. Yeah, because that's yeah. all they are there for, as you said. They're just there to be slaughtered. Yeah. Well, no. just, just well, something I thought was even worse is th- they opened this movie with a girl who was a, who, who was a, a victim in a mass shooting. Yeah, and it's like this is a, a very real world problem mm-hmm. that you are using. 
just for your your your, your sick little pop culture. Just exploiting. Yeah, they're exploiting yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. just very give, exploitive. It's a, and plus, it's not really necessary necessary to the story. It's, it's just not it's just there to show like some girl went through something and now she'll come out where where she was hesitant and hiding before. Now she's stronger and she'll emerge a hero. It's window dressing. Yeah, yeah. Shut the f- up. You know, in this right here, I want these people to die so bad. When they, came, when they come in, I tell you, the only one I really didn't want to die, and she should have died just by hanging with these stupid motherfuckers, was the blonde girl right there on the right. Sure. I, I heard she didn't, she didn't really deserve anything that she got, but everybody she, else. Well, you know, we saw her leaning her, her head out. <laughs> well, okay, being, being stupid other than that. Yeah. There's a difference between being stupid and just being an asshole like these yeah. people. She's you, not an asshole. I'll no, say that. Yeah. your girl right here on the left. Oh. Like when they, the moment, like they are some, they are judgmental. Mm-hmm. They don't have any tact. So your girl right there on the left, dark haired girl. Then forgive me if I don't tell you the name of the actors and actresses. But the moment she rolls into town, these people's town, she sees a guy with a gun, oh. and she just says out loud, "Oh my God, what kind of, what kind of dick? How small must your dick be if you got to carry a gun around like that?" And now the redneck we usually don't want to root for, and I don't like rednecks who look like they're racist mother. But this dude came up and he actually gave an honest to God, to good, honest to goodness, good explanation mm-hmm. for why he had that gun. Yeah, he said, "Well, I th- it shit." If he said it's to shoot you with, I would have had that. Black dude right here, he gets in. Jacob Lattimore. Yeah, when he when he comes in and starts looking at the buildings and everything, and they find the the old woman that's in the that's in the orphanage. She's trying to be nice. She's you know she's a woman, a product of a of a, of a time and of her environment. But she ain't really racist. She, no, no. She says something that might be a little outdated. Like I like the Negroes, but she's an old woman. She's sick. She's got an old Confederate flag up. And this dude does not try to understand. He's like, you just need to get your old ass out of here. This man, I'm tired of this bullshit. Get out of here so we can get our investors in here. And I'm just like, wow, man. You know what? I got a black dude in this movie. I got hipsters in here in this movie. People I should be relating to. And I want the redneck to kill all of them. Want to be swell. Before Leatherface even comes in, I'm rooting for the redneck dude. Because you identify with Gen X and millennial hipsters. Mm-hmm. And these are younger than those. And they come in with that sense of entitlement and that whole intolerance of intolerance sure. to where him seeing a Confederate flag to him gives him carte blanche to be as rude and short and intolerant as as he wants to be. He sees that woman up there coughing and vomiting up goddamn chicken soup all over the floor. He sees her with an oxygen tank and she's act. she gave them sweet tea. I know. She gave them. I know, she was trying. She sat down and she she didn't say, oh, y'all can come in, but not him, not the darkie. No. Sat on the porch. What she said was, I learned to like the Negroes. Uh, I, I understand the Negroes. I like everybody. I love everybody. And he's like, oh, this old racist bitch. Get out of here. I Fuck this. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Yeah. I was like, man, I hope they carve your black ass up. It's almost like Shit. the filmmakers are just prepping you to root for them when they're being carved. Oh, absolutely. And that has to be yeah. it. That's yeah, what it is. No, it's it's so obvious that it, it just made me angry. It's mm-hmm. like, what's, if, what's if the you point? don't manipulate me, put some work into it. Yeah. Don't be yeah. lazy about yeah. it. Shit, if you carve, yeah. It's all in the first 10 minutes, yeah. by the way, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> this is 10 yeah. minutes in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shit, I was, I, was, I was waving in the car, this black ass up. I was there with a play. Give me a, give me a leg. <laughs> you know, this shit. Well, they, 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 <laughs> and the, like well. I said, the, the redneck was the dude. I was like, wow, man, why are you the nicest guy here right now? Why are you the coolest person here? And he's not, actually. <laughs> no, he's no. not. He does something. I was like, um... I know you don't like them. I don't like them, but that's not cool. You ain't no. got to do that shit. Yeah. But I like, you know what? I didn't give a fuck if it was them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I felt so bad for that woman, the way they treated her. Yeah. And I said, that's not cool, man. Don't just set these people up for me to want to see them get mm-hmm. killed because you're not, you know. And by the way, they they did kind of the same thing in uh, in Texas Chainsaw Massacre where you didn't get to really see these people as characters. They really were there just to die, but they just weren't assholes like exactly. these people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Did you also just notice something weird? And this is just in the first 10 minutes. Just It just feels like these people didn't know Texas culture oh, or Austin. Absolutely. Because one, this is not filmed in Texas. This is like filmed in Central Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there was something interesting where uh, in the beginning when they had the narration where it's like uh, uh, right outside of Austin there was these murders. I'm like, so you mean the suburbs? <laughs> what are you Round talking rock? about? Yeah. I mean, was like if you think that is fucking Leatherface playing uh, Ultimate Frisbee and yeah. drinking kombucha with everybody, what are you talking about? 
about outside of Austin? He's having margaritas in Pufflugaville. Well, that's, that's, that's a big thing. If these murders happened, how do they roll into town and not know anything about this? This is filmed in Bulgaria, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, you know, people, you don't go 10 miles outside of Austin and end up in goddamn Leatherface territory. Yeah, that, 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 I, that, that, that's that, the that thing. Was, that was a hilarious thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're just outside of Austin. I'm like, yeah, I live here. No, no. place just outside of Austin looks like shit, that. When you leave, <laughs> shit, when you leave Austin, you in another just smaller hipsterville. And after exactly. that, is, after that is DQ country. It's Dairy Queens everywhere. Yeah, you ain't, <laughs> yeah. She, you, ain't, you ain't in no because yeah. this this is like the set of an old old Western TV yeah. show. Yeah, you're right. Like Gunsmoke or something. Yeah, it really was. It's made by people that think that Texas is filled with cacti, tumbleweed, uh-huh. and we all wear cowboy hats. We all yeah. have no. I looked at this shit and I said, man, this is a. You could tell this is a the, a movie set for. There's a movie set for a, a, a ghost town. Mm-hmm. Honestly, out out just here. outside of Austin, there is a place that looked like that. But it is a set. Yes. <laughs> there you when go. shoot movies. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. I will say that they don't waste any time. So if you a big, if, if you a basic bitch, then you know, you just want to see you just want to see kills. You just want to see people die. I will say it works on that level. Yeah. I mean they they do some good stuff. The, the kills are the kills. Yeah, the, the the kills are cool, man. And I I'm the I I do enjoy gore. I don't want to watch it over and over again. But if you want to like kill somebody, I want to see you kill somebody. If you, I mean, if you're doing it, if we if we getting down like that, we're supposed to be gory, you know. <laughs> shit, let's get to it. Let's do some porno shit of gore right here. You know, I want to get graphic with mm-hmm. it. I want to see everything, you know. So the kills are cool here, man. And they make the thing. What I liked about them is that they make sense. For the most part, yeah. Leatherface ain't teleporting everywhere. For the most part, yeah. there was only one part in here where I said, God, now how'd you get, how'd your big ass get in here? His 75-year-old yeah. ass, by yeah. the way. Yeah, how the f*** pop up just like that next to a movie car? There's <laughs> some goddamn Jurassic Park T-Rex shit going on. He's like, well, I only had two charges left in my teleport. Yeah. So I those. <laughs> but he ain't teleporting through the whole movie. You know, I would, listen, I'm going to tell you what I appreciate about this movie. Keep in mind it's bullshit, but I will give respect where respect is due. Um... I did enjoy watching the kills in here. Leatherface ain't teleporting. He gets people the old-fashioned way, you know, because the people ain't even really that dumb except for your girl put her head out the window, and even then she thought he was gone because she sat there and played dead for a long time. But uh, what Leatherface does is he just he just cools out, and he waits for these fools to get in places where they're trapped. Like, <laughs> he's, uh, he's crafty, man. Like, he waits for them to get to places where they can't run. So these people, it's not like they trip and fall. It's not like they can't do anything. That's when he carves them out, man. He's patient. And also, sometimes we, if you do try to run, he throws that shit like Captain America's I shield. <laughs> <laughs> I, am su- I am so surprised that it didn't come back yeah, to where they yeah, had yeah, to yeah. catch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, one chick tried to run, he just threw that shit and knocked her ass down. <laughs> and he even used to try to blade in. He took the blunt in so he could knock her ass off. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, you know what? Respect on that move, man. I like that. It's just a Mortal Kombat <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're kind of giving a little bit of a of, of homage to like something like uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which was a comedy. Yeah. Sure. And I believe that that was to- Toby Hooper also. But that one, and I like that movie. Some people don't. No, no. I, lo- I know people who love that one. That movie's actually, uh, I don't, I, a lot of people don't like it because it's just not as good as the first. Sure, And sure. it's not going to be. But it's it, not going to do it. Yeah, it is a comedy. But so. it is. But it's fun, man. The yeah. movie's really good. Uh, if you ask me, but the reason why those the, you know those reasons I'm telling you where Leatherface makes sensible kills. I believe this is why I believe this guy could take out a town full of people who come in because he sits back and he waits and he waits for the moment to get them trapped in the right spot. So there's one moment where some dude walks in the room and Leatherface is behind him. He's hiding behind the door, his big ass. <laughs> but that is why that is the reason why and the only reason why I really like this better than. Halloween Kills because Halloween Kills had some of the dumbest people who did some of the dumbest things. Michael Myers was teleporting all over the place. Yeah. And I said, this is a shame when I got to look at this movie that sucks and say that they did it better than this movie that's supposed to be so good. Well, this movie still had its share of people doing dumb things or somebody who had the times when people had the drop on him, but rather than pulling the trigger, they decide to speechify or, or, or waste time, and you're like, well, this is what's going to happen. I don't know. Uh, and something that Halloween Kills, God, make me say something positive about Halloween Kills. It did acknowledge that everybody knew about Michael Myers. Yes. Where here, I'm like, so nobody knows about Leatherface or all the murders that happened? 
people think that that family's dead. Like people think like it's long past. So I could give it that. Like and plus it has gone long enough to where a younger generation doesn't know that much about it. Like these people coming in. But but I mean that's just how I saw it. But but, but but them being investors, everybody's going to do some research. There's, there's going to be some research, and there's no way to uh, do maybe it. not. There's you no know? way to do it, not even a little bit of research without that. Well, if that up. family's gone, I mean, it's like. But it, just it, to say like, hey, this this happened. Just acknowledge like it's happened. It's not a thing anymore, but it did happen. Well, but they, I mean, I, that's well, not enough for me to say that's a deal breaker for that part of the story. Like, I don't think that anybody's going to be like, all right, you know what? People got killed here a long time ago. No, we're not going to buy this. People do that shit all oh, the time. Oh, no, actually. no, no. They'd still buy into it. I'm yeah. not saying they wouldn't buy into it, but they would at least not acknowledge like, oh, yeah. Matter of fact, that might even be a selling point or, or something to like, ooh, we're, we're, we're revitalizing this area. That's, yeah. that's something. I, but nobody's expecting like the guy to actually still be there. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying they expect him to be there, but just say to, to, to acknowledge that this was a thing. This was, makes, makes it feel like this was a package well, for something else. In the movie, they actually do talk about the crimes that were there. Uh, in fact, they talk about the gas station owner too. Okay. So yeah. So well, yeah. that's what I want to bring up because that was the breaking point for me because it's like, oh, you're just you're just completely shit in the bed in the first five minutes where she has that kind She's like, we were watching this kind of like true yeah. crime of the Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre from '74, and then she asks about like, were those people caught? And they're like, he's like, oh no, nah, he wore a mask, and you can't find someone yeah. they wear a mask. It's like, what the. F- you talking well, about? There's DNA evidence everywhere. You had witnesses. <laughs> you saw someone throw somebody in the pit that picked up the original woman. We can't find any of them. Bull no, shit. That's, that, that, that's I was like, no, that, give me a part goddamn of the movie break. that I hate because it's trying too hard to connect to the first movie in a disingenuous way. That's a mistake because it misses the point. Yeah. Uh, first of all, the first movie was not about gore. And that's why that shit is... It's uh, not as gory as people remember. Well, it's no, it's not. The first movie is not... Really, all that gory at all? It hardly. It's implied hardly, stuff. It's implied stuff. It's hardly any. If only people like your girl covered in blood. That's about it. Other than that, there's no blood in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's a fun fact for you: Toby Hooper actually was trying to go for a PG rating on this. Oh. He thought if he didn't show, now that was crazy of him to mm-hmm. think that. But he thought that if he if he was gonna uh, not show any blood or any of the gore and just imply the violence that. You know, he would get away with a PG uh, rating, uh, or maybe today, in today's time, a PG 13. Like, and people are like, crazy? crazy? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just put a girl on a hook? No. You, no. Mine. But, you know, the thing is, it's the natural reactions, man, that I was talking about from these people. The freakiness, the girl losing her mind. That's why it worked. It gets in your head because a lot of this stuff is implied and you think yes. you see more than what's there. You mm-hmm. don't see anything really mm-hmm. all that much. Mm-hmm. That's why this that that's another reason why I love this film, man. Uh, but they try so hard to connect to that first film. Uh again, that it rips off it rips off a, a another movie that uh that did it actually successfully. It's funny because I've been putting it sounds like I've been putting this movie down through the whole review. Oh shit, is that which one is this? Is that the first one? That's, like that's the first, the first one. one. Yeah, that's the first which one. Which we right all there. like, by the way. Which, <laughs> but that's the, yeah, that's Halloween 2018, which we all like. You should. Can you close the closet door? No! <laughs> Boy, this big ass over here, <laughs> Elijah, he jumped. He, he said, he said, oh. <laughs> Elijah about to jump out that chair over there. <laughs> Elijah, P, look at this man. Look how big he is. Yeah. Look at here. He's big as leather face. He's, he's big as Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, and look right at him. Right look here, at the so muscles man. on him. He jumped on him. <laughs> he's about to put a hole in my roof over here, man. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and Elijah just shaped hole in the nah. wall. <laughs> she, he could be a, he could be a serial killer in a movie. <laughs> Put a mask on him. He jumped. Um, but you know, uh, you know, they're doing this whole Halloween thing from from uh, naming the title the same. Yes. To trying to have a Laurie Strode. Uh, yeah. type type character yeah. Sally who's the freaking girl the freaking out girl from Halloween they trying to bring I mean from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 they're trying to bring her back in this who's barely in it by the way yeah and the thing is Laurie Strode was a character yes we got to know Laurie through several movies some of them bad but at least we got to know yeah. the character she was a presence she said mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. I'm sorry as much as I love this movie Sally she's just the screaming chick hmm 
And sure. that's cool. That's fine. You know, she, she she did her job. Yeah, and that's what she's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But either find a reason to give her some character to come back or let's have known her better than the screaming chick beforehand because they bring her back. And I'm going to give you a little bit of spoiler right here. <laughs> just, a little, just a little bit of a spoiler. They bring Sally back and the moment she gets back and they try to introduce her like a, like, y'all ready? Man, I don't, y'all don't give a if you do, just give me five minutes. But she, they, they bring her back like she's a badass and the moment she shows up, <laughs> Love the face, put that chainsaw through that ass. I thought she really quick. Was love. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She, had, she had ample opportunity to do everything she said she was yes. going to do, but instead she wanted to stand there and talk. Yeah, mm-hmm. she sure did, mm-hmm. and that that's that's a dumb move right there. <laughs> People, that that's her biggest contribution to this it. movie. Mm-hmm. Taking that chainsaw through the gut right there. She didn't do a goddamn thing in this movie. I was like, well, why you even have her here? Yeah, not only that, but hey, if you're somebody in the car watching this, don't stand there, sit there and watch. Drive off. Oh, yeah, it's done. Oh, 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 horrifying. Oh, yeah, run over his ass on uh, your way out. And nothing against the actress, but I mean, they have her looking exactly like Jamie Lee Curtis from they Halloween do. 2018. Yeah, they the should hair do. and everything. Yeah, yeah. man, I was like, oh my God, it's, it's, it's egregious. Yeah. You know, I think they did capture the wild side of Leatherface, but then again, I'm confused that that's even the same Leatherface. Leather Leatherface was right. I don't, I don't know what the f- they're doing. No. He should be 75 right now. And that, I don't, yeah, but or 80. <laughs> why is he staying at the orphanage? What's oh. his connection with the chick at the orphanage? Mm-hmm. Where's the family? She's not his mom. I don't know. No, is that no. his lover? I don't know. I don't. Yeah, love I, I mean, I don't know. I, I know I you're just, right. He would be 75. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. No, I don't. They don't explain, but they show him, and he doesn't look seventy five. Not at all. No. So I don't know what they're would, doing. Would Michael Myers be about that age? Well, he's Michael, sixty. Yeah, he's sixty something. Which they say in the, in the yeah, movie. Okay. he's sixty five or something okay. like that. So yeah, they no, they they make sure to let you know like he's old, but but he's still indestructible. He, I, still, but, I still got but, it. But he still got it, <laughs> <laughs> and he knows what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I don't know what the deal is with Leatherface. They don't explain it. It makes no sense. Yeah, it just seemed like they were just anxious to get a, get a franchise going. Again. Yes, hundred percent. Exactly, exactly. You know, uh, but and I, I do like the girl uh, Ellie Fisher in here from uh, from eighth grade, just because I just I just like her and I just want to see her. I want to see her do more stuff. Oh shit, that's her. That that is her. Yeah, I'm wow. trying to find a picture of it. Yeah, that's. Let me see here. Oh, wow, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, that's the, Oh, her. yeah, that girl. That's yeah. the, okay, now, I now I see it. Oh, but I was wondering I why she looked familiar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Wow. Let me see if I can wow. show you. Pic- yeah, the because in the in eighth grade, she's got blonde hair, and I think she is a yes. natural blonde, but that is her right there. Yeah, because that was she a bad older. wig she's wearing this whole time. <clears throat> yeah. And I actually like her, man. I like I like her a lot, and I want to see her do much better things. Mm, yes. I didn't think she was bad in this. It's just a bad project. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did... Like the scene with the bus, I actually thought that was a clever scene. I, if, if it was in another movie, yes, you know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But I, but I did laugh at that part. I thought, like, again, you're missing kind of the point of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre with this. But I did laugh. I laughed hard at a particular part because maybe it's because I do shit on the internet and I see people's comments. But when <laughs> I thought it was, it was a, it was a, it was very appropriate and very very real. How once people started dying. Comments were still going. Uh, yeah. And comments yeah, were sure. still, and people were still being shitty. Right. <laughs> Try anything you cancel, bro. I love that that looks so fake. I know. <laughs> I know. So, I, I, and that's the thing, that one little scene there, I, I'm with you. Like, this was funny, made me laugh out loud. And yeah. I was like, this is actually kind of clever for a movie that wants to be clever and make a statement. Yeah, is that one little statement yeah. stuck in a movie that's not making any statement no, whatsoever? It's just yeah. in a bad movie. I wish it was. I wish the scene was in a better movie because I actually thought this scene was good. I love. I love those comments. Where is this? I want to go. <laughs> <You know? laughs> See, for me, yeah. it, it just felt like because this movie is borrowing, or no, not borrowing. Excuse me, stealing from so many other horror films <laughs> yeah, and yeah. franchises. This felt like, oh, we gotta get a little scream in there. Let's get a little meta in this. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll put that in there. Well, and then, okay, plus, it on. makes makes no sense that the two girls who already know Leatherface is actually dangerous at the back of the bus. Shivering oh, and cowering like it's like Shaggy and Scooby. They were there for a reason, uh, and it made sense. Uh, they, were, they, were, they, they, they were about to leave, and something happened with the keys. And once they were on the bus and he came there, they couldn't get off. So, yeah. so yeah. It, it, it made sense why they were there and why people, that's why I said that's what but, made but, sense to me. People, people were f- finding a way to get out. Uh, no, nobody found a way to get out. 
No. There was he no. slaughtered all those people yeah, except killed, those two. He oh, yeah. killed all. He yeah, they were in the back of the bus, so they found they <laughs> found grabbing some, wigs yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. And, no, they would no to everybody. No, they shit. all died. They all died. Hey, spoiler, 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 who cares? They was, yeah, you, yeah, that was, their meat. Yeah, that's a struggle bus. <laughs> Nobody got off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> One girl tried to get off, and she and she no, almost no, made almost it. Almost made it. Not quite though. Not all of it. Nah. I'm gonna tell you this, man. If you want to see good continuations, and this is this is all a matter of opinion, and this is another thing. I've seen some good continuations, and some of them can't even keep it up themselves. Uh, Halloween couldn't even do it, man. Halloween, you know, that Halloween 2018, which started out so well. We got Halloween kills after that, and that sucked. One of the things that I saw recently, though, uh, like if you don't have a good idea, if you don't have some real inspiring material, then just give it up, man. And like, but if you want to continue, take an example from something. Now, I think I don't think you like it, Martin, but I think you like it. I really enjoyed the series that came out based on another famous serial killer, and I thought they did this better than a lot of continuations oh. out there. What did you do? Mommy says real killing is bad. Uh, man, I don't know. What did you, I know you didn't like this. Yeah, but I did. I didn't you, like it. No, I did. I thought I, I, I was surprised how well it worked. And it was a great continuation, and that's it was, Chucky it, on sci-fi. It was perfect for people coming into the franchise and people who had watched all the movies. For for me, for me, yeah, that's what I. No, I loved saw it, it, man. Once yeah. it was done, yeah. I can't wait for the next season. I was man. very impressed. It talks to the audience. Yes. At the end of it, he breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, or does he break yeah. the fourth wall? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, hey, what do you think about my kills, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I love this uh, series. It happened, but it did have some problems. Uh, had oh, some... it had a couple issues, but I again, most of it uh, for me worked. Yeah, yeah so. no. Nah, if you want to look at something, y'all, that actually succeeds, watch that. They really had a reason to continue, and they did something different. They took a risk, and it worked. I loved it, yeah. man. Uh, but yeah, with this right here, man, you know, as somebody who loves. Loves the uh, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. It's just, it's, it's just sad to see people continuing things and really completely missing the point of what made the first one so great. Uh, it's, especially when you're trying to connect right back to it, and you're thinking you're really doing, you know, you're thinking you're doing it uh, <laughs> out, out of a, out of respect. You're not, man. And honestly, I'm getting tired of uh, really with now that we that we are here. I really am getting tired of nostalgia now. Hell yeah. I'm sick of so it. So sick of it. Matrix. Yeah, oh shit. Sure. Between Moba Fett, Matrix, and Scream recently, it's just like I'm. St- oh, this whole, yeah. This I'm, whole I'm year. F- oh, man. Every, every time they bring up something from, from before, <laughs> like, don't. I don't, I don't want to know about that. Yeah. Um, so you, somebody hit it. The, the, is, uh, nostalgia's getting clickbaity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, they're talking about doing a throwback to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it's more psycho and Friday the 13th than it is uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. This guy is nothing but Jason Voorhees right now. Yeah. You know, this the whole thing with his mother mm-hmm. and <laughs> also a little bit of psycho, too, when you get to that. The, the whole, hotel. The whole mom thing. And the, what's that? Yeah, the, the hotel. And hotel and everything. And things, yeah. So yeah. Branded. So, yeah, man, this is straight up some bullshit. And the killer who cannot be hurt no matter what. Uh, you do. Oh, no, I know. So much uh, better stuff out there. I'm just, you know, if it, hey, nostalgia work, it, it, if, if it works, it works. But this, I'm tired of it. So yeah, this is straight up some bullshit. I'm almost about to get this off you. Uh, I did love the ending though. <laughs> it, just made, oh. it just made me laugh. It's so ridiculous. I just thought it was stupid. Yeah, yeah. It was no, it, no, it's completely dumb. Every, but I, every, I still it was, liked it. It had gotten so stupid by that point. There was just like. Sure. Why yeah, not? I just I, at the end it made me laugh, and I will give you that. You that's ain't getting what, away. That that's that's what that's that saved you from getting the. You so yeah. I yeah. yeah no it's it's a similar bullshit but I only see two things that give it the edge over Halloween Kills. One is the running time because it's so yeah. short. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, they get right into they, it. They, they get right into it and it's over before you know it. Like yes. the moment you go like, all right, let me strap in. Like oh, it's it's done. Yeah. All right. The other thing is that with Halloween Kills you had a number of not only directors that you knew and, and set up expectations but you had a cast of people with recognizable names and yeah. recognizable actors so that also gives you a certain expectation of what the quality can be yeah which it did not meet here you you barely know anybody yeah so. exactly <laughs> so that's, 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 that's no expectations to have <laughs> i give it a fuck you sorry oh if I, my God. Oh, I, would, I would i would go that extra mile like listen i, I was very disappointed of halloween kills but at least Halloween Kills gave me Jamie Lee Curtis for the small amount of time that she was, was in, and she was giving a good performance. I don't think anyone gives a good performance in this movie. I think they're all detestable. It doesn't make sense. When the first 10 minutes, you're just kind of like, oh, my God, it is, it's so dumb. Mm. I think this, this is an awful film. It's another awful entry.
history in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, which has eight. many awful entries. It's been eight movies uh, so eight. far. Wow. Yeah, it's been eight. Most movies. of them are reboots. Mm-hmm. Most of yeah. them are reboots, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, this to me is a fuck you. Definitely one of the worst films of 2022 so far. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 